Schoenberg asked a girl in the class to go to the piano, play the first movement of a Beethoven sonata, which was afterwards to be analyzed. She said, it is too difficult. I can't play it. Schoenberg said, you're a pianist, aren't you? She said, yes. He said, then, go to the piano. She did. She had no sooner begun playing than he stopped her to say she was not playing at the proper tempo. She said that if she played at the proper tempo, she would make mistakes. He said, play at the proper tempo and do not make mistakes. She began again. He stopped her immediately to say that she was making mistakes. She then burst into tears. And in between sobs, he explained that she had gone to the dentist earlier that day and that she had had a tooth pulled out. He said, do you have to have a tooth pulled out in order to make mistakes? Then we had to go back to New Haven to do the TV class over again. This time on the way back, it was a very hot and humid day. We stopped again in Newton, but in a different place. And for some ice, there was a choice. Raspberry, grape, lemon, orange, and pineapple. I took grape. It was refreshing. I asked the lady who served it whether she had made it. She said yes. I said, is it fresh fruit? She said, it's not fresh, but it's fruit. <laughs> when I was in high school, I went out, as they say, for oratory. When the Southern California or Oracle Contest came around, the situation was ticklish. LA High had won the contest two years in succession. If we won the third year, would stay in the school's possession forever. I was chosen to represent the school, and I passed through the sectional contest and came to the finals, which were held in the Hollywood Bowl for an audience of about 35 people. My coach, however, informed me the day before that my speech in its written form had gotten a very low grade from the judges, that in order to win it in the finals, every single judge would have to give me first place. I decided that the situation was hopeless. And the only thing to do was to forget about the contest and just say what I had to say. Apparently, that's what I did. The cup still belongs to the school. Artists like to talk a lot about freedom.
However, to come back to my story, a girl in the college there came back after, uh, backstage afterward and told me that something marvelous had happened. I said, what? She said, one of the music majors is thinking for the first time in her life. Then at dinner, it was an afternoon concert, the head of the music department told me that he was leaving the concert hall. Three of his students called saying, come over here. He went over. What is it? He said. One of the girls said, listen. During that Greensboro, During that Greensboro concert, David Tudor, David and, Tudor I and I got a got little, little mixed up. up. He began to yeah, play one piece. piece. One piece. And I began to play a completely different one. I began to play different. a completely different one. I stopped. I stopped since he is, he is the pianist. The pianist. That he is. That he is. And I just sat, I just sat there, listening. 